Welcome to City Line. It's Dabble Magazine Day on City Line. And of course, Dabble Magazine is the creation of one and only Kimberly Selden, everyone. Yeah. Listen to that. Nice audience. Before we talk about the theme of Dabble Mag this month, let's talk a little bit about what Dabble Mag is all about. What's I'm in it? I'm so excited about it. It is a free online magazine that, that follows the best of design, travel, and food from around the world. Okay. With a little bit of extra focus on Canada because we all know that's the best place in the whole world to live and to be, so there's a, there's a bit of a heavy influence from Canada. So I like the fact that your theme uh, for this episode of City Line and for this issue of yep. Dabble Mag is Quebec, Quebec, La Belle Province. So we're looking at decor that is inspired uh, by Quebec. And I must say, this is a gorgeous, chic set that it has been inspired by Quebec, right? It completely has. And one of the amazing things about Canada, it's like, it's so vast and every province is different and Quebec definitely has its own signature. Yeah. They are very artful, so they're not afraid to mix and match and that's partly what you're seeing. But let's start with the root. The root of Quebecois style is that country, honest, humble pine. Mm. So we started by thinking about that in a context and so we opted for woods that were rustic and raw and had a feeling that maybe an artisan put things together like this beautiful table that you see on the metal base. Right. So it's not that stuck in the past country pine that you might think of. It's very much for today, but it's still inspired by those traditional roots. So we went to a fabulous store called Boo Boo and Lefty that's in Toronto. Mm -hmm. I love if you're, the name. Isn't it fun? Boo Boo, Boo, Boo and Lefty. Lefty, which by the way, I've got to ask them what, what that's about, but it what just makes mean? you want to go there. Yeah. So we, we had a lot of fun sourcing for this. So we started with some raw rustic wood elements like the coffee table. Look at the chair. It's definitely Beautiful. a traditional style. It's got that raw wood. It might be pine. It might be an oak. Upholstered uh, for comfort. That tufting kind of says country comfort. You can put your feet on everything, but it's a real beautiful mix. I want to mention also the carpet. When you're thinking about, am I, am I formal or am I casual? Am I country or am I city? Yeah. One of the big indicators is your carpet. Whenever you see a pattern that's loose, not very finely defined, you know it's a country carpet. It's a rural carpet. Okay. So you can kind of mix whether it's traditional or contemporary, doesn't matter. But you do kind of want to stay toward a country, loosely defined, kind of faded pattern versus a very tight, fine, you know, needlepoint. Which that's is going to be more true to the more true to the theme. Exactly. Now listen, I'm married to well, kind of a Quebecois. You're okay, you're, he, oh, really? he is. Yes, he's so Haitian-born but adopted by French Canadians. So my husband was raised in Shawinigan, Quebec. Okay. All right. So this is rural Quebec. And one thing I always notice about his grandma's place there is that there's a warmth. There, there. It really does follow along the same yeah. lines of everything you've got here. The light-colored wood. I yeah. mean, it's I don't. It's not this chic. But sorry, grandma, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> this is like kicking it up. Watching. This is kicking it up a notch. You know the thing? But it, it's got still that same warmth, yes. right? Warmth comes from not being afraid to sit on things, to put your feet on, yeah, to comfy. use things. It's not about what color things are. Right. Warmth also can come um, physically in right. the form of a fireplace. And I want to mention, this is from Hearth Manor. Mm -hmm. You know, people think it's a big deal to add a fireplace to your house. It is an electric plug-in. So in the range of five, $600, you can add a fireplace to any room in the house and I'm going to mention this if you're thinking of moving and you have a living room that's kind of nondescript plug in a fireplace better still you have a basement nothing's going on plug in a fireplace a bedroom plug them in they can give you physical heat and comfort and you can adjust many of them to decide how much warmth you want in the room right but it's a really immediate way to add architecture and to add value to your home if you're thinking of selling and it's a way to to rather than those ugly space heaters mm. that people have at their feet in their I know, office I know. No. This is a really not ugly space heater. That's you know, beautiful. You're absolutely right. Isn't that lovely? And yeah. it's done in a day. I like I like projects like that. Me too. <laughs> and again, raw rustic wood. These etageres are so pretty. We've shown them in a living room set, but these would be equally gorgeous in a dining room. They'd yeah. be spectacular in a bathroom if you have a big house. Oh yeah. So it's about mixing things, different colors of wood. They don't all match. Yes. And it's even about throwing in those odd pieces that you think may not be exactly the look. So, so gold, would that be this? Oh, that, gold. yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, gold is a trend that we're seeing this year, and we definitely highlight it in our Dabble Digs column. And I think just a little piece of it adds a little bling, which is nice. Animal print, I think, is never 
on trend. It's always in season, as far always. as I'm concerned. Whether and this it's fashion is a or decor. Faux, this is kind of a faux zebra, but it's really pretty in front of the fireplace. And remember, if you're having a party and you can place a bench or a couple of footstools in front of the fireplace, mm -hmm. it makes a really nice spot for someone to perch. It's not a great seat to sit in for four and hours and watch TV. Right. You know, you're not going to have a bench to watch TV. No. But we placing it here in front, front of the fireplace, you know, people are like, well, am I supposed to be like this? Yes. See no, how? but that's too close. I'm going to get burnt. Well, too so close to the fire. But you can sit to the man. <laughs> well, that's true. I don't know. <laughs> We're thinking but about different things. if you sit like this, it totally, yeah, it makes yeah. sense. You're getting some warmth in your tushy area. <laughs> yes, and then you're like. having conversation <laughs> with all of your friends. Now, imagine the same bench could be at the other side of the coffee table that's for true. a party. But so I do you can like sit it here. facing both ways. I just think I a lot of people it. might not do it. And it's perfect because now you can put a, a drink there. You know what? People worry about blocking things. I know. Don't worry. We all know there's a fire there. Yeah, it's okay. When you're standing up, it's it's not blocking anything. Yeah. When you're sitting on the floor, it's blocking something. Most people don't sit on the floor. That's true. Not at my parties. I don't know what happens at your house. <laughs> Most people sit on a chair, in which case they can see that that's a fireplace. So right. not, don't get hung up about putting things in front of it. Okay, what about this? This will give you warmth, too. Oh, this too. is nice and warm. And this is about to give your audience some warmth, I think, as well. Are you, tell are you telling them about this? is a I'm not telling them about this. It's a mohair blanket. Uh, from it's from Boo Boo, Boo, Boo and Lefty. Boo Boo and Lefty. I just love. like saying that, really. It's worth $275. Yes. One of you is going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> One of you is going to take. Who's going to have to take it. it from us? That's right. Yeah, take it from me. Well, gorgeous set. Oh, it doesn't even shut. I love that. Well, since we've been talking so much about Quebec, I feel like I don't know. Should we send somebody there? Could you? Would you? Maybe. Porter Ooh. Airlines is giving one lucky audience member two tickets to either Montreal or Quebec City. Yeah. Yes. You will fly from the Billy Bishop Airport in downtown Toronto. If you've flown from there, you know the departure lounge. It is quite an experience. There are free cappuccinos, there are snacks, and then you get free drinks on the plane. Hello. Yeah. Do you ever even really need to be going anywhere? Okay. <laughs> you just want to get I, on the plane. I just love Porter. I just want to go it's on a flight just so fly. I can go and try them out again. They're Absolutely. fabulous company. Yeah. You know what we should do? We should just draw for it right now. We should. Let's draw for it right now. Can I get a drum roll? Let's do it. Somebody is going to win oh, in the audience. Drum roll. If it's you, you have to take me. And I want to hear it. Okay. The winner is Patricia! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Patricia! <laughs> it's your anniversary today! Yes. Hi, honey! <laughs> okay, so are we talking birthday? Are we talking wedding no, anniversary? No, wedding anniversary. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I guess maybe you'll take your husband And then? I found a lucky penny this morning. I swear to God, I said it to my <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it was that penny. Oh. That's what did it. You can keep this. Okay, thank and you. And congratulations. Happy anniversary. Oh, my God. Thank you. Let's go to break. More coming up on our Dabble special. Stay with us. It's so 